see the guard passing today? We do a very basic uh, X pass or step pass, whatever you want to call it. It's got a couple different names. I try to do this with my knee. It's been, it's been uh, I haven't been able to do this pass in months. But we'll see, we'll see how it goes. So it's pretty simple, okay? So if you guys remember from the seated guard, right? You just have the seated guard going, okay? There's various passes I can use to pass him from this position, but usually it's easier if we do a pass where he's from a supine position, meaning laying down, right? So I want to try to get him kind of on his back. There's a couple different ways you can do that. If he doesn't have good forward leaning posture, I can just kind of shove him that way. Even if he has good forward leaning posture, there's always this, okay? And then once he comes to here, that's when we're going to hit so let's get into a supine position, all right? So we enter, okay, we got one in, one out. We don't want to get dummy swept, right? So we're going to come in, we're going to be in a stacking stance. We're going to get into a supine position, and as he's coming back up or just laying there, that's when we're going to hit this pass, okay? So I want to get two grips, right? My grips are going to be lapel, taking his chest out, and outside of the knee, okay? I'm going to shove this pass. And you will pick this leg out, right? So it's going to be like this. All right? Now it's not just like this. All right? I've got to get this leg heeled towards the ceiling. Boom. Okay? And then I'm going to come in the knee on belly. I'm not going to try to come in the side control. It's too far. The distance to go. It's going to take too long. He's going to give me a chance to regard. So we're here. Boom. I come in. I get my grips. Boom. Do okay. that. Okay? I'm going to hurt my knee a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna be here. I'll slow it down again for you guys. Let's enter. Yeah, it's my knee. We're gonna enter a stagger stance. We're not gonna come to here because we'd want to get a dummy sweep. I'm gonna go here, maybe here, maybe here like this. Whatever I gotta do to get him to fall back, I'm gonna catch right outside the knee where the pants are crumpled up. I'm gonna get this grip here. Okay, knee back, coming right in, getting my knee past his knee. I'm keeping this grip the whole time. Because once I get to here, he's going to be trying to hip escape. I'm actually going to be pulling on this knee, keeping my knee on top as he hip, hip escapes until he stops doing that and I get settled into a good, a good knee ride. And then we just play our knee on belly game, whatever that is. Baseball chokes, arm bars, Indian burns. <laughs> yes. <Yeah, so laughs> We're here. We're dumping him. Oh, he's coming back. Soon, exactly. As soon as he goes to sit back up. Oh. Right to there, okay? So this is kind of a, a speed pass, okay? So you hit a speed, you do it right, it should get you past his knee, and then you kind of play your game from there. Okay, so one more time. We're here, stack his hands, get him up. As he runs back up, the catch, foot to the ceiling. Boom, okay, still got this grip. Still got this grip, I'm holding him until he comes down. I'm following him, I'm following him. Then we get to here, okay? Then we go to our normal knee on belly stuff. Okay, so it's this grip here, right outside the knee, this grip here, okay? Kicking all oh, high, heel towards the ceiling. Don't do this half ass, moving your foot out of the way, don't just catch your leg, you'll end up in half guard or sweat. Okay, daily heave, all right. Reverse daily heave. Safety wise, what do we do to look out for us that we don't jam the knee and break some ribs? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> just don't do that. Just don't break the ribs. Just, uh, when you're with your training partner, to be nice. Personal problem. When we're with our training partner, to be nice, we get him back to here. Okay. See how I keep my, I'm keeping my toes on the ground, but in a match. Yeah. All right. That looks for now. We're just keeping our toes on the mat. In the mat, get your toes off the mat, so your full weight's going around your mat. Okay. Any other questions? No. Let's try to do it both sides. Okay. Five times each. Partner up. One, two, three. Should be able to pass to both sides. Uh.